Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 131. Today we yamming on it. We got some pieces against Newcastle today. That's gonna to be fun, it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna do some yamming on it. Now what is yamming? Yamming is pulling as hard as you can. We're going sweet potato, full yam, full, full marshmallow on top, full roasted marshmallow, full ham, yam. Pretty much any one cell will work, will work and we have settled on yam. Speaking of yam, we are getting yam tops in for the ladies play eight. Hopefully at some point next week, have to let us know how they look. It's a Sunday, but no rest today. We're going at it, we're going yam. What is yam? <laughs> Got a warm up if you want a yam on it. Oh yeah, buddy! And of course yamming on it needs some fuel. Yeah, buddy, because food is fuel. Oh yeah! So I've got to this point and I haven't really explained what yamming is. Hmm. How would I explain yamming? Well, Hmm, nope, not dream sequencing this time. Will and I did do a little bit of calculations. Let's see if I can find it. I think I've got it. And of course, when you're thinking about yamming and doing yamming, you have to understand, and we had a little meeting of how we, as a boat, want to yam on it. And this is what we've came up with, the yam protocol. Y, A, M, yeah buddy, ability to produce watts and mass. Oh yeah, that is the YAM protocol. Yeah, guys. Yeah, men. <coughs> yeah, Jack, we're back. Just push me up on the Yep. Oi! You still haven't explained what yamming is yet. Okay. Uh, I guess I haven't been telling myself to explain what yamming is, and now I will take the opportunity to do that. But instead of watching my face do it, I'm going to explain it over some race footage, or at least warming up for the footage that you just saw there. And then, on top of that, we'll go straight to the piece against Newcastle. Which means... Erg Thoughts is back for this video. We're going to do it over. A little bit of warming up, a little bit of yamming on it footage against Newcastle. Oh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, and welcome back to Erg Thoughts. And I know I'm doing a little bit of change, a lot of change, different things here and there, just doing a bit, things a bit differently. But basically, right now, what I'm looking at is just having, experimenting as we do a little bit of a pause here, experimenting with. A little bit more editing, a little bit more of a change makes it a lot more interesting when I'm editing and a bit more fun. Like I said, variation is quite a key to motivation. Anyway, let's talk about yamming and what is yamming on it as we warm up for the pieces. So we're going to go into a burst. Well, yamming on it is a way of life. It is a way of doing things. It isn't necessarily applicable to or only applicable to rowing. But it's just a case of it isn't necessarily just trying to pull the rigger off, just trying to end yourself when you're in a piece, just trying to snap a blade. It isn't these just these things. It is how you approach what you do on the daily. So whether it is going to give your dog that biscuit, whether it is going to pick up that milk on the daily milk run, or whether it is rowing or any other activity that you may partake in it's kind of just a thing where we've just kind of rallied around here at leander club in the ladies eight where yes sure we apply it just just yam on it just really go for it but we also try and apply it to life in general so if we're 
on team bonding time, we're going to just yam on it. So that means we're just going to have as much fun as we can. If we're in the boat, we're just going to yam on it. So that is trying to break a rigger, but obviously it isn't just having a detrimental effect to the boat, trying to apply max watts in an efficient and sensible manner. So therefore we can really go to town and get as much boat speed as possible. But really it is a very simple thing and I know you guys all know what yamming on it is, but let's get to some footage of us rowing against Newcastle. And this is just the beginning of the piece here. We're just ramping it up and here we go. As you can see the puddles to the right of our blades, that is Newcastle, we're starting off even and we're off against them. Oh yeah, and there you go, you see a little bit of their bow, stern even canvas popping into shot. We have a good start against them and Newcastle really go for it. And I'm going to just be quiet for a little bit and then let you hear the sounds of the piece. And as we wind in for the last bit of the piece, we're splashing around, we're giving it a good whack, a good yam, if one may say. But really good of Newcastle to give us an opportunity to race against them for a little piece. Makes a big change from doing the pieces by yourself or against an, another type of boat class, in fact. But again, awesome from Newcastle. Thank you very much, Newcastle. And that'll be it for the rest of the vlog for today. Again, the changes are going to keep coming. I'm going to just keep experimenting. But obviously I'm not trying to lose the... Definitely not trying to lose the air thoughts anyway, but... Just try to change things up a little bit. And remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.